Welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. In an effort to learn a little bit more about using my rulers for machine quilting, I have taken a uh, charity quilt from our, our local guild and I have decided that I'm going to machine quilt it and try at each step just to learn something new from everything that I do here. The first thing I wanted to try was using a ruler to do um, quilting in the ditch, which just seemed a little weird to me because I didn't th see how it would work. But as I watched all these different videos, it seemed very easy and people seemed to be doing it just without any problems at all. So I thought I would give it a try. I started out using this ruler. Uh, it's Sid by Angela Walters. And it has these little hooks on the end of it right here. If you notice, uh, the, this uh, foot is uh, circular all the way around so that the ruler can butt up against it. And the needle is a quarter of an inch inside the, uh, the circle. So with these rulers and with these hooks on the end, if I put the edge of the ruler up against the, the foot, and then I put the mark here with the quarter of an inch right there, I can just sew forward. and stay in that ditch. When I get down and it stops, I come down forward again and do the same thing. Now, in this case, you can't see it, but I don't have that line to mark. So because this is a shorter ruler, I was having to stop a lot. So what I started doing was just using a straight edge ruler. Let me get that. This is another ruler by Angela Walters. Uh, it's the uh, Slim. It's this very simple little ruler here. But I found that I can actually put the ruler up against the edge. And just as I sew, if I need to, I just move the ruler a little bit around this way or push it a little bit forward as I need to to stay in the ditch. And it seems like it would be hard to do, but it actually is very easy to do. Now for this quilt, I'm just quilting straight across that sashing. So I'm gonna come down here and mark, put the, the ruler to the quarter of an inch away or approximately a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less. This is not exactly straight, so I'm having to kind of fudge it as I go. But it's interesting because I can move the ruler just back a little bit. Oops, and I got off a little bit there. But I can use the ruler just to move it as I go. Uh, so that it stays in that ditch. It is much easier than just using free motion quilting to do it. And I just have to be so slow and careful with it. This way I can uh, use this ruler just as a little bit of support that I can use to push the, um, the foot one way or the other, however it needs to go so that I stay in that ditch. So there you have it, quilting straight lines in the ditch using either this simple straight edge ruler or this ruler that has the hooks on the end that give you the, the uh, quarter of an inch markings. It really is fast, it is easy. I don't know if it's any easier than using a walking foot, but I sure like this idea of being able to, to use the rulers. Remember, if you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button on the lower right of the screen. You can also find my blog at francisquilts.com, and I'm on Facebook and Instagram at francisquilts as well. I hope to see you again soon. Keep on quilting.